I bloody hate these slabs. I bloody hate the boy who lived. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> right. Hello. Welcome back. Hope you had a, uh, a very happy Christmas and happy new year. I've kept the lights up. Um, I just think it offers a nice backdrop, so why not? Today's video, PSA opening, as you can see. Got a lovely PSA opening. We've got about 70... Oh, I just revealed one of the cards there. I don't know if you saw that. I haven't looked about, I haven't looked at these cards, by the way. We've got 17 cards in this video to go through. Yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump straight in. I absolutely cannot remember for the life of me what is in here. So I have no idea, but I did see a dishcloth up at the top. So let's get that out of the way. Oh, dear. Now, if you know me on this channel... I bloody hate these slabs. I bloody hate them. I literally, they're not, they're not for me. Um, I mean, such a small sticker. Surely, surely that would have fit in a normal PSA slab. I haven't got one with me, but I will in a minute. Uh, PSA 6, not that bad, but I don't know. Like, I feel like this would kind of just make a nice display case. You've got the new series of Harry Potter coming up. Uh, we're, we're way away. Uh, that's not going to happen for a while, but, you know. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a potterhead, is that what, I'm a bit of a pothead, I was going to say, I'm not that, um, I'm a bit of a Harry Potter head, I'm a bit of a potter fiend, no that sounds a bit rude doesn't it, uh, I'm a bit, uh, yeah I like Harry Potter basically, um, so you, you, if you're a long viewer, long term viewer of the channel you may have seen that um, I've got the odd bit of uh, Harry Potter paraphernalia, not, not paraphernalia, memorabilia, uh, if you can even call it that, stickers, cards, that sort of stuff. So I've, I've actually completed the first set of the Wizards of the Coast set. Um, I've got all, all of the cards in a binder. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, that should, there might be a bit more TCG, but I think it's majority uh, football. Let's just, let's just get them out, I think would be the easiest way to do it. Um, we have, uh, I can see we have got something that's not graded and I'm, I'm slightly, oh, look, some more Harry Potter. I'm slightly worried about the fact that it might be a card that I sent off again because it didn't get graded the first time. So I think I know what it is, and I kind of hope I know what it is, and it's not a card that I wasn't expecting to get graded. So let's let's start with a card that wasn't wasn't graded. Um, try not. Try not uh, reveal some of the stuff. Right. So let's start with a card that wasn't graded. Now, the card that I think it is, is the Harlan Tops Now. Why they grade, they don't grade it, I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen them graded. Let's just check this one in here. Yep. So it is. Okay, so it's the Harlan Tops Now. And it's the same. No holder, do not holder. I don't know what that means. I They said that the first time, and I don't know what that means. I don't know if they, they can't. It can't be that they've run out of holders twice for one card. So this is obviously a card that, for some reason, PSA just don't want anything to do with. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's really, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's a card that I bought online. It's a Tops Now card. Um, unless it's a dodgy one, which I don't think it is. But, you know, I think I bought it on eBay, so it's not one that I've pulled myself. Maybe I'll investigate it. Maybe they think it's fake or something. But don't they put fake on it? I don't think it's fake. I don't think you would fake that card of all cards. Right. Card number one. We have a Kellogg's Super Mario. Uh, what is Mario's superpower? The answer is Bunny Mario. I didn't know that. Do I know that? I don't know. I did watch Super Mario's movie, by the way. It was actually one of my favorite movies of last year. Um Last year was a really poor year for movies. I know there was a few, but Saltburn and uh, Oppenheimer and Barbie and whatever else. I didn't watch Barbie, but obviously it's up there for some people. Right, let's see what we got. PSA 9, pretty good. A 1993 Kellogg Super Mario Land 2 Game Boy PSA 9. PSA 9 is pretty good. Um, I didn't know how they were going to grade these because I actually cut these myself. Um, or did I, no, I didn't cut them, but they came in like little packets and I took them out of the packets. I think there was somewhere I had to bend. I think, yeah, no, it came, I think it came with two and they were folded like this and then you had to crack them. And so I cracked them and I was a bit worried about the edges. You can see where there's like little white dots on the edges. So that's kind of where I cracked them. So PSA 9, yeah, pretty good with that. 
Next up, we'll do these two. These are both Harry Potter. We've got three Harry Potters. So let's get the... I know some of you going, uh, Some of you guys are, are football guys and you're not TCG, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to breeze over these for you. So we have, boom, Harry Potter Hollow. This is out of the first set. This is the first set I've completed. Um, you can see it's really holographic. It's difficult to get on camera. PSA 7 is uh, not terrible, to be honest. For the black borders, they're really, really hard to grade. The PSA 10s do actually quite a bit of money, more than you think. Oh, there's a good view of it. Um, but yeah, PSA 7 is for the PC. So yeah, that, that won't be out for sale. And then two PSA 8s for the 2001 Panini Harry Potter. So these actually predated this, I believe. Um these are Panini, these are Wizards of the Coast, so that's the kind of the difference. Uh, and these are the kind of the portrait cards. If you're into F1, you know about F1 portraits. I sort of say that these are the equivalent of F1 portraits, but for, for Mr. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Um, right, right, next up, we've got a PSA 8 Tom Brady. I think this was a PSA 7. I need to double check. If it is or it isn't i'll stick it up on screen but i've got a feeling i sent this off to or i, I did my own uh kurt's card care on this card and i've got a feeling it was a psa 6 or psa 7. uh and then from 2010 we also got a refractor of tom brady um obviously at the patriots uh in a psa 8. I'm 99% sure it wasn't a PSA 8, so I think I've actually upgraded this with Kurt's Cards Care. So, we'll see. And there's another big card in here, if I think it's, yeah, I think it's in here. There's a big card that I went through Kurt's Card Care to kind of uh, shimmy up a bit, shall we say. Shimmy, shimmy, ah, shimmy, yay. Uh, Hugo Ekitike. Uh Fulham were actually linked with this guy at one point. I can't remember. I think he's still at PSG, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is his rookie card. It's an Inception base rookie PSA 10. You've kind of, with these base rookies, you've kind of got to get a PSA 10 because um, they don't go for much if you get a PSA 9 and it's base. But yeah, interested to see where he goes. I'll kind of keep an eye on him, I think, for a while. Maybe he'll go to Fulham. Uh, we've got another Harry Potter one. So we'll just, oh, we, blimey. How many, how, many, how many Harry Potters did we send off? Right, we've got another two. Boom. Oh, I forgot about these. These are 2001 Quidditch stickers from the same... These are the Panini... Uh, yeah, the Panini set. Two different ones. They're kind of like... A, they've got this... Um, this one's kind of got a watercolour design and then this one's more of a kind of a block colour. Uh, PSA 9, PSA 8. You might not have seen these before. These are the colour blasts of the Harry Potter world. How about that? Um, right, next up. This is an interesting one. I don't know if I have any basketball fans left on the channel. Uh, but this is a Fanimation. So this is like um, a Marvel, and there's two of them, so we'll go through both of them. It's kind of like a, a Marvel uh, NBA art design. So we've got the Larry Bird one, PSA 8, pretty cool. You can see it's kind of a comic book design is the word I was looking for. Uh, and then for the, Le, uh, the, sorry, I was about to say LeBron, the Jordan and the Larry Bird, we've got PSA 7. Again, um, if they may, uh, they're probably going to be PC cards at that that grade. Um, we've got another two Kellogg's, so let's fly through these. PSA 7, PSA 7. Could I tell you the difference between these and the PSA 9? Absolutely not. But, you know, they're fun, fun little pieces. I'm kind of flying through these, like, sort of TCG and random stuff. Right, now we've got a Premier League 95. I've got a feeling this could be... Um, this could be a Paul Scholes rookie sticker. Let's have a look. And it is, and it's a PSA 3. So again, that's going to stay in the PC. Not a good grade at all. Um, PSA 3 seems a little bit harsh, but you know. Well, there is a bit of a mark on the back, to be fair. So yeah, maybe that's about right. This is an interesting one. I'm not. I, I'm hoping for more than an 8. I'm hoping for a 9. It might get an 8. Anything below an 8 is a fail. Uh, but I, this wasn't in perfect condition. So if you don't know what this is, this is a Gary... Well, you're going, Dan, why are you picking up Gary Cahill cards? Hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, this is the Russia 2018 National Landmarks. You might have spotted it on the side here. So National Landmarks is a case hit. And so it only has one player from each nation. And for some reason in 2018, they decided Gary Cahill was that man. Um, was he the captain at the time? I can't remember. Probably, uh, maybe, maybe. Let's see what we got. 
PSA 9, there we go. I'm actually pretty happy with that. As you can see, this got this whole hollow design. Really tough grades. I did have to try and clean this one up with Kurt's Card Care, but that's a success. That is a success, considering I... One of the things I was worried about here is this, this I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but around here there's a little pen indent, sort of like, it's like someone stuck a biro in it. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up, but if you can see it, there's a little dot that's right by the edge of the cloud there. I oh, know it's actually, it's around here. Um, but yeah, PSA 9 is pretty good, I think. Pretty happy with that. But what I like about the national landmarks is the, is the design around the player. So they, it's all to do with the country. So you've got the red phone box there. You've got the, the beef eater um, or the guardsman or whatever they're called. Um, Big Ben, you've got Tower Bridge. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, Queen Victoria, I think that is there. And then Buckingham Palace, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Right, a couple of Callum Wilson cards. These are from the first year Prism. I picked these up on eBay. Um, I know he's not the number one choice at Newcastle, but he is pretty, still a pretty good player. I think he could definitely go to somewhere where he could get first team football, maybe one of the lower tier um, English league sides. And the reason I picked these up is it's number to 15 and number to 20. So you've got the brown pulsar and I think it's the light teal or light blue pulsar. Now let's see what these got. Hopefully nines. Oh, the 10 I'll take. The seven is a bummer. But the 10 is lower numbered. So we've actually we've actually done all right there. And it's the better looking card. So PSA 10, white sparkle, Callum Wilson, number to just 15. So I don't know if any Bournemouth fans are out there and you're interested in that, maybe. Uh, or yeah, I just think this is his first prism card. So it's a pretty cool one. PSA 7, let's just forget about that. Let's, let's pretend that never happened. Right, this is interesting. I've never graded one of these before. I can't remember if I went for... I think I just went for authentic because surely... Maybe I did grade this. I don't know. This is a one-of-one one, uh, Fabio Blanco Barcelona um, printing plate. So if you don't know these, what these are, the printing plate... Uh, you can see this is an actual yellow printing plate used to manufacture the card. So this is the first thing that goes on top of the pile where they go whoosh. And then all the cards are printed from this specific printing plate. That's why that's where the kind of the design comes from. So let's see. I don't think I've ever seen a printing plate in a PSA slab until now. So here we are. Yeah, I did go for authentic. It is actually a Fabio Blanco rookie. Um, but it's a yellow printing plate, one of one out of the Topps UEFA uh, set. And I did actually pull this on the uh, on the members side of the channel. Um, so there you go. If you want to be a member, plug. It's in, links in the description. Right, this is a gold Kylian Mbappe Topps Chrome number to 50. Not too much to say. It's gold. I reckon it, I reckon it looked pretty clean. I reckon this has got PSA 10 uh, written all over it. But let's have a look. What? No, he got a PSA 8. Oh, that is a bummer. Okay, PSA 8. I mean, that card is basically worthless to an extent now. Um, what would you call that? Maybe like a £10 slab. Who knows? I really thought that looked good. Uh, not sure with that one. Centering is just immaculate. Top top to bottom is maybe like not exactly perfect, but, but left to right, that centering is just doesn't get better than that. But there we go, PSA 8. Oh, it's been a real mixed bag. Right, uh, I'm expecting a PSA 1 on this. This is a Wayne Rooney rookie sticker, but let's see what we got. PSA 5. Okay, PSA 5 is not too bad. I mean, you can look at the centering, guys. Look at the centering. It's it's a, it's a complete shambles. I'll be honest, it's a complete shambles. The left-hand side is so thick in comparison to the right-hand side. PSA 5 is probably generous, I think, actually, from PSA for once. I know what they're like with grading stickers, so, yeah, I mean, that's... I can't argue with that. That is the the that's the true rookie sticker if you're after a Wayne Rooney rookie sticker. Eduardo Camavinga. This is the white prism field level uh, number to just twenty. It's number nine of twenty. Ooh! Finally, we got a nice one. PSA ten. That's what you like to see. White color match with the white Real Madrid kit. That is a beautiful card. I mean, if you're a Camavinga collector, I quite like him. I've got quite a big card of his. I picked one up recently from DGen. Shout out DGen. Um, but I think this might have to stay in the PC. I mean, look at the color match on that. That looks great. That looks really, really nice. There you go. White select Camavinga. We hit something decent. There we go. <laughs> I was waiting for something nice. 
Uh, we got a Rooney Bargy, true rookie. I think this was this came this set came before Tops UCC and Tops yeah Tops UCC paper, Tops UCC Chrome, UCCCC UCC Chrome, um, which UCC if you don't know is the UEFA Champions League, but it also includes the um, Europa League and the Conference League as well. Uh, Tops called it UC Tops Chrome UCC for that year because they included the lower leagues in it as well. Uh, right, FC Copenhagen, Rooney Bargy, the first card that I ever saw. I'm pretty sure it's his true Ricky. Number to 25, PSA 9. Not great. Uh, really wanted a PSA 10 on that because it's not necessarily a high-end set, but we'll take it. It's a pretty nice card anyway, isn't it? Let's be honest. Right, Vinny Jr. Auto up next. Um, Tops Pearl. Tops Pearl was a one-off set that apparently they're never, ever going to do again because it celebrated 30 seasons of the Champions League. So I always think Tops Pearl is a bit of a sneaky purchase. They're never going to do it again. It's a nice-looking set, and that's the reason why I picked up this uh, this Vinny Jr. Auto. I'm hoping for a PSA 9. Anything lower than that, I'll be a bit gutted, but let's see what we get. Oh, my God. Oh, this is brutal. PSA 6. I think that's going to have to get cracked. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it as a PSA 6. Why not? It's a Vinny Jr. Auto, isn't it? It's a, it's a beautiful card, but PSA 6 is harsh. But these these thicker cards, they're, they're tough grades. We're going to save this one to the end because that's a big one. And uh, I need something big. Pablo Torre, rookie card. Uh, this is to 99, so not a particularly expensive card at all hopefully PSA 10 come on PSA 9 okay well you know as I say Inception's a harder set to grade um, we did get a 10 on the uh, Eke TK but yeah this is probably a 20-30 quid slab who knows but you know Pablo Torre I have heard some rumour that he's supposed to be quite good for people that know him but who knows where he's going to go uh, True Amelie number to 225 uh what I'm trying to think what um parallel this is not sure but let's let's just send it oh, okay yellow psa 9 um not too bad again it's a very very cheap slab this could save it this could save it this might be one of my worst psa submissions of all time this could save it now this is a, a obsidian rookie jude bellingham number 5 of 25 it was a psa 8 it's going to kill me. An eight. I did do a bit of cards, curds, cur, curds, curds, card care magic on it. And I resent it. So it was a PSA eight. So we're hoping it gets a PSA nine. Here's hoping it was a PSA eight. So hopefully we've got an upgrade. I'll show you the card first. There you go. It's the electric green etch. Please. Not an eight again. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Get in. Get in. There's no way I've upgraded that from a PSA 8 to a PSA 10. What, what a final end to the submission. Oh, my God. That is huge. Huge. That is massive. There you go. I mean, is that an advert for Curse Card Care? I don't know. I thought an 8 was harsh. Um, I think it's a 9 because I couldn't get this dent out the back. It wasn't a dent, but it was like a little mark. They might have missed it. I might have got it out. There was a lot of hairdryer treatment on this. Um, who said hairdryers were bad in football? Not me. There we go. Wow. PSA 10, Jude Bellingham, rookie 225. Uh, I don't know what this is worth now it, as a PSA 8 not much but this is a it's a nice one lads we've done all right here we've done all right there we are what a way to end the video what a shambles of a return but what a way to end the video I mean it, it, if, if you'd stay to the end drop us a drop us a um uh, drop us a vamos in the chat drop us a vamos in the chat that was my attempt of uh, doing Jude Bellingham's celebration. I wasn't trying to be cocky there. Um, there we go. 
so i mean not much of a <laughs> roundup really this was this was a beauty actually i loved that um some some real random stuff in here i think uh, jim just caught me at a good time at a card show and i just sent him off a load of random stuff but yeah big shout out to um to jim's sports cards um excellent service as always uh this was i think an upgrade i'll, I'll double check that and I'll, i would have put it up on screen anyway uh, but yeah, lots of Harry Potter stuff, lots of Super Mario stuff, some stuff that didn't get graded. But the highlight, wow. Wow, 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 wee wow, as uh, someone once said. There we go. Uh, I'm a little bit delirious after that, and I'd really like a beer, but I'm doing dry January, so I can't. I'll have my coffee. I think it's probably gone cold now, to be fair. Hmm lukewarm i've got a bit of amaretto syrup in there sound like an alcoholic like i can't do without alcohol i can it's just a it's just a month right it's been after christmas i've got shakes no i'm joking i haven't got the shakes right anyway i'm waffling now hope you have enjoyed the video if you have drop a fat like on the video for that dude um comment down below get your comments down below shout famos do whatever you like um i always reply to your comments it's always nice to see your comments um link is in the description for 10 pound off your first purchase on whatnot if you're new um and the link to join the member site is also or is in the link in the description and i'll see you on the next video at uh, dublin card show i'm booking flights after this video um i'm going with kieran soccer underscore cards underscore uk you've seen him in videos before southampton video most recently um we're getting a hostel hostel settings should be good uh and london card show will be there in february as well and uh yeah and i've got a, i've got a pretty cool collector's video coming up lined up it's in the works nothing's planned but um that'll be cool if i can bring you that as well there we are thanks again i'll see you on the next one